hello everyone in this video i'm gonna go over some example problems on normality we'll be going over like at least six to seven example problem over here to understand the concept of normality and how to use it to solve numerical problems so first example problem we have 15 gram of h2so4 is dissolved in water to make 1200 ml of solution and they are asking us to calculate the normality over here on the right hand side i have written down the formula for normality which is equal to number of gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter and number of gram equivalent of solute is equal to mass of a solute divided by equivalent mass or equivalent of weight sometimes they use it an equivalent mass is molar mass over basicity in case of acids and in case of base it will be acidity so basicity is number of hydrogen ions that a molecule of an acid can give in a solution and acidity will be number of OH ions that a molecule of an acid can give in a solution and also for oxidizing and reducing agent it will be number of electrons exchange in a reaction so let's work on this problem here so first of all we have 15 gram of h2so4 so they gave us mass of a solute 15 gram and 1250 ml of solution they gave us volume of solution it is in milliliters so we're going to multiply by 1000 so missing part over here is equivalent mass or equivalent weight sometimes they call it so equivalent mass equivalent mass is equal to molar mass over basicity so molar mass of h2so4 h2so4 hydrogen 1 multiply by 2 plus sulfur 32 oxygen is 16 times 4 so this gives me uh, 98 gram equivalent gram per mole so we have 98 divided by basicity which is a number of hydrogen ions that a molecule of an acid can give in a solution so it's h2so4 we have h2 so 2 hydrogen divided by 2 here gives me 49 so we got the equivalent mass and now let's calculate gram equivalent of the solute so gram equivalent or number of gram equivalent of solute is going to be mass of a solute and they gave us 15 gram so 15 gram over equivalent mass which is 49 gram per mole we can see 49 so divided by 49 now let's calculate the normality so normality in our example is going to be number of gram equivalent of solute which we just calculated so 15 over 49 divided by volume of solution in liter but we have in milliliter so 1250 milliliter and when it's in milliliter we multiply by 1000 rewrite this we got 15 times 1000 divided by 49 times 1250 and after the calculations we get 0.229 n so that's the normality of the solution now let's go over the second example we have 50 ml of 0.2 n hcl so 0.2 n is the normality of hcl in this 50 ml solution and then we have 0. 1 and h2so4 in 50 ml and 0.2 and hno3 nitric acid in 100 ml and they are mixed together and they are asking what is the normality of this resulting solution when we mix them all together 
and we know that normality is equal to number of gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter so first of all we need to calculate the gram equivalent for each of them add them together that will give us the gram equivalent for the mixture and the volume of solution will be the volume of all of these three so 50 plus 50 plus 100 to calculate gram equivalent we're gonna use this normalities formula so in this formula if I multiply both sides by volume of solution and here multiply by volume of solution so this will cancel out this part and we will left with the gram equivalent of solute equal to normality times volume of solution so let's find out gram equivalent using this formula for all these acids so uh, we can say equivalent of HCl equivalent of HCl is equal to normality times volume of solution and normality of HCl is 0.2 n times the volume they gave us 50 ml and 0.2 n means 0.2 per liter that's the definition of normality so 0 0.2 per liter which is 1000 milliliter and times 50 and it is going to be equal to 0 0.01 because normality is number of gram equivalent of solute per liter so 0 0.2 divided by 1000 so the 0 0.2 and basically means 0 0.2 over 1000 similarly we can calculate the equivalent of HNO3 so equivalent of let's calculate H2SO4 first H2SO4 normality is 0 0.1 N times 50 ml is the volume of a solution and this can be written as 0 0.1 divided by 1000 times 50 gives me uh, 0 0.005 similarly equivalent of nitric acid equivalent of HNO3 going to be 0 0.2 N times 100 ml because they gave us 100 ml solution 0 0.2 divided by 1000 times 100 and that comes out 0 0.02 now we're gonna write down the total equivalent of the solution so total equivalent or total number of gram equivalent is 0 0.01 got it from here plus 0 0.005 for H2SO4 and 0 0.02 for HNO3 so this comes out 0 0.035 and total volume of solution total volume we have 50 ml of uh, HCl 50 ml of H2SO4 so 50 and 100 ml of HNO3 so this gives me uh, 200 milliliter now we're gonna calculate normality so normality is number of gram equivalent of solute which is 0 0.035 divided by volume of a solution which is 200 ml it's in ml so we're going to multiply by 1000 so after solving it we got 0 0.175 n as the normality of the resulting solution let's go to third example third example is we have uh, 
one molar solution of H3PO4 and they are asking us to calculate the normality. To solve this example, I'm going to use the relationship between normality and molarity. I have made a video on that. That is basically my previous video before this one or the latest video. And that will give us the formula for relationship between normality and molarity. I'm going to write it down over here. Normality is equal to molarity times basicity in case of acid and it is acidity in case of bases or a base. So in our example they gave us molarity 1m so 1 times basicity is number of hydrogen ions that a molecule of an acid can give in a solution which is basically these three hydrogens so 1 times 3 basicity is 3 and it's a simple example so 3n so this relationship is very useful to calculate some numerical problems let's go to next one so we have a 5 molar solution they gave us the molarity of one of the solution as diluted in uh, diluted from 1 liter so they gave us the volume and then we got 10 liter of solution and they're asking us to calculate the normality of a solution so basically we have one solution and it get diluted so volume increased that means molarity change that means normality change but we don't know how to find the normality we don't know what is the normality here and we have to calculate it first of all let's look at one relationship so when we have one solution with the mola uh, molarity given and a volume given and we dilute it change the volume then this relationship says the product of molarity times the volume is equal to the molarity times volume so if we change the volume then what will happen if we increase the volume molarity will decrease that means this product of molarity times volume will stay constant and this rule applies to normality as well so let's say first normality was n1 and volume was v1 and we change one of them and we get the product n2 v2 then it says the product will stay constant the product of normality and volume similarly here so what are we gonna do in this example we're gonna calculate the molarity and then we're gonna calculate the normality using this relationship so they gave us molarity 5m so 5 times they gave us the volume in the beginning was 1 liter and then they increased the volume or diluted it the volume changed to 10 liter what we do not know the molarity we can solve this equation simple just divide both side by 10 this gives me m2 equal to 5 over 10 which is uh, 0 0.5 so this is the molarity of the solution that is now 10 liter and we need to calculate its normality and we know from the relationship between normality and molarity normality is equal to molarity times basicity in case of acids we just calculated molarity 0.5 time basicity it's h2so4 so two hydrogen ions so times two and it gives me 1.0 n so the normality of this new solution which is uh, 10 liter in volume is 1 n next example we have NaClO reacts with h2so3 as NaClO plus H2SO3 gives sodium chloride plus sulfuric acid and the solution of NaClO used in this reaction contains 
15 grams. So they gave us the mass of a solute, 15 gram of NaClO per liter. So per liter means one liter. So they gave us the volume. And they are asking us to calculate the normality of the solution. So we know the mass of a solute, we know the volume of a solution. So we are missing this equivalent mass. And equivalent mass in this case is molar mass over number of electron exchange. In this chemical reaction, the number of electron exchange is two. So let's go over this problem. So First of all, uh, we need to calculate equivalent weight of a solute and um, molar mass of NaClO. Let me write it down because we need molar mass to calculate equivalent weight or equivalent mass. So molar mass of NaClO is equal to 75 gram per mole. And equivalent mass is going to be or equivalent weight of solute equivalent weight of solute which is NaClO is going to be molar mass 75 divided by number of electron exchange in this reaction it is 2 and the equivalent uh, weight or equivalent mass is equal to 37.5 gram equivalent and now we're gonna write down number of gram equivalent of solute so number of gram equivalent of solute is equal to mass of a solute and they gave us 15 gram so 15 gram divided by equivalent mass which is 37.5 and so normality normality is equal to number of gram equivalent of solute which is this part over here so 15 over 37.5 divided by volume of solution they said per liter so one liter so it can be written as 15 over 37.5 times 1 and it comes around 0 0.40 n and next example i have here is let me go to my next problem what will be the normality of a solution uh, containing 4.9 gram of H3PO4 dissolved in 500 ml water. So we know that normality is mass of a solute, oh, sorry, a number of gram equivalent of solute over a volume of solution in liter and gram equivalent of solute is mass of a solute over equivalent mass they gave us mass of a solute 4.9 gram they gave us the volume 500 ml so typical problems as we solved before and we are missing equivalent mass so let's calculate um, equivalent mass here is going to be molar mass and molar mass of H3PO4 is 98 divided by basicity which is a number of hydrogen ions that a molecule of an acid can give in a solution three hydrogen divided by three gives me 32.6 so we got equivalent mass we're gonna plug in it over here to calculate number of gram equivalent of solute so number of gram equivalent of solute is equal to mass of a solute which is 4.9 divided by equivalent mass 32.6 okay so now we know 
this part which is basically numerator and divided by volume to calculate normality so normality in this example is equal to number of gram equivalent of solute which is 4.9 divided by 32.6 divided by volume of solution which is 500 ml and it's milliliter so we're going to multiply by 1000 and rewrite it 4.9 times 1000 divided by 32.6 goes to the denominator times 500 and when we do the calculations we get 0.3 n as the normality one more example that's the last one we have here so we have four gram of NaOH dissolved in 100 cc of solution what is the normality of the solution again same concept we know the volume of a solution and they gave us mass of a solute for uh, four gram and we can calculate equivalent mass first so equivalent mass or weight is equal to molar mass and molar mass of NaOH 23 for sodium 16 for uh, oxygen 1 for hydrogen when we add them up we got 40 divided by because it is a base so we're gonna look at acidity so not basicity here we got acidity because we have a base which is number of OH negative ion that a molecule of a base can give in a solution so NaOH so we have only one OH so one so equivalent mass is just 40 so we got equivalent mass we plug in it over here we get number of gram equivalent of solute so number of gram equivalent of NaOH is equal to mass of a solute and they gave us 4 gram and equivalent mass we got 40 so 4 over 40 so now we can calculate normality we know number of gram equivalent of solute and we know the volume so plug in those uh, values in normality so normality is equal to in this case number of gram equivalent of solute which is 4 over 40 we just calculated divided by volume of solution which is 100 cc and 100 cc is 4 over 40 100 cc or cc cubic centimeter can be written as 1 over thousand liter and when we rewrite it we got four times this thousand will go to the numerator and 40 we go to the denominator times 100 and when we solve it we got basically 4000 in the numerator 4000 in the denominator so one and so normality in this example is 1n so these were some examples over normality I'll suggest please work on a couple more example and you guys will be good to go and please do share and subscribe my educational videos that motivate me to make more videos thanks for watching my videos have a good day guys bye bye